hot summer day, just relaxing here in the shade. So what better to do than sharpen up our tools? Today we're gonna look at how to sharpen up this beauty. And it's a beauty, Norland. Oh. Any ax, I mean you can sharpen. You get my point, we're gonna sharpen axes today. Now recently I did a video around different grinds and most axes, okay, when they are sharpened, have a convex grind. So what that means is it's not pointed up this way as my hand is right now. Um, it's more like this, okay? So it's gonna give a lot more strength to that cutting edge. It has a little bit of a, what we call a cheek um, on each side. So it's more rounded up to the top. So does that really affect the way we sharpen? And my answer to that is yes and no. Now the reason that I say yes and no for that is because I guess on a microscopic technical level um, you can't take a flat stone and sharpen something that has a curve to it. But the reality is that normally in our haversack what we're carrying along with us is just some type of small pocket sharpening stone. So this is what we're going to use and this is how we're going to get our axe back to sharp. So if you're really really crazy nuts about like particular instances when it comes to sharpening this just might not be the technique for you but here's the thing i use an axe all the time all the time i've used this axe for years i've used my trapper's hatchet for years and i've been sharpening the axes with this stone for years and it, it works just fine okay so let's erase all that um internet craziness of you're doing stuff wrong um and just focus on what works, and this works, trust me, okay? So a small sharpening stone, we're gonna use water on our stone always to work as um, a medium there to catch whatever we shave off or file off or grind off, whatever way you wanna look at it, um, because the reality is when we sharpen something, we're removing metal. Um, we don't want that metal to get trapped inside the pores of our stone. So putting a little bit of water on here because it's everywhere in the field, works really, really well, it'll it'll become a slurry and then you just wipe it off at the end and your stone stays good. Okay, so enough of the stones. How do we actually sharpen this thing? So um, it's gonna be the same process that I teach when we utilize a knife and we sharpen that in the field. And that is to start with just this blade edge pointed straight up. We wanna be able to look down at it and really focus on sharpening the proper area of this, okay? We don't wanna destroy it or um, change the grind all that much. We just want to get in there and touch this thing up and make it sharp again. So with the blade facing up and a nice wet sharpening stone, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place that sharpening stone against our ax. Now, there is a gap, as you can see here, between the ax blade edge and my stone. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just start to lean our stone into that edge. As soon as that line, the black line between our stone and the edge or the gap between the stone and the edge disappears. I like to say black line because you can see that black line, black line, it's gone. Once we get to that point, we're gonna just keep that there. Now we can either angle our ax in or we can just angle our stone in, okay? One or the other is gonna work really, really well for this. So what I'm gonna do is angle in my stone and then what I'm gonna start to do now at this point is just make circles, all right? I'm gonna make sure I'm keeping along the edge and we're gonna continue making passes down with small circles, the edge of that ax blade, and then we're gonna work our way back up, keeping track of how many passes we actually make while we do this. Now, what is important to remember while we do this is to continuously make sure that our stone is just closing in that little black line, which you can see right in between the stone and the cutting edge. So as I close that in, and as soon as it disappears, I'm where I need to be. And as I go along, I need to evaluate each section of this blade. What happens if we start to go too far over is we start to grind away that sharp edge we're creating. And if we go too far back, okay, we're not getting any material removal on that edge and it's not gonna sharpen it up, okay? So we wanna make sure that we evaluate as we make our passes that we're keeping that black line or that gap closed, down and back, down and back, and then you would of course rotate the ax around and do the same on the other side. 
Remember to be consistent that if I go down, back, down, back, then on the other side, down, back, down, back. And with just a simple stone like that and a little bit of work, your ax blade is back to nice and sharp. So literally don't overcomplicate it when it comes to sharpening. Yes, there is very complicated systems out there and there are complicated ways and very advanced ways that you can get very, very precise. But at the end of the day, we're woodsmen. We're out here having a good time and we just need this thing to be sharp to cut and slice and get the job done. And this little stone will do that. I mean, it's, it's so simple, it's just easy. Just remember, keep that angle proper to the cutting edge and then just assess it the entire time you're removing material. But use this because I guarantee you're gonna love it and it just takes, it, well the simplicity level is, just, uh, it's great, it takes all the nonsense out of it and you'll have a good sharp ax and you'll get back to doing the things we love while everybody's over there arguing if it's the proper angle and they don't even know what they're looking at anyway. So hey, um, definitely add this to the toolbox and uh, check out everything over coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, keep your ax sharp and stay in the woods.